Hey guys, Art Guys here. And today I want to go ahead and talk about a specific specifically the my top 10 favorite slash teams most fun teams uh in the history of Grand Cross PvP. Obviously, I'm doing an in-game with the set teams option. And here is from number 10, number 5, right? Before hopping this, if you to enjoy today's content, make sure to subscribe. And if you want to get notified when I upload, go ahead and hit that notification bell down below. Now then, um, number one, and I know this is going to like be like, oh, you've complained about these, the, the, the first three teams are like, oh, you've complained about these teams and all that. You've said how much this has ruined PvP and all this. Like, even though I stated they're in PvP, which is a fact, and even though I stated I didn't really like these teams for a while, that does not mean I didn't have fun with them. I had a lot of fun with these teams, especially on their release, right? It's just over time is when you learn, hey, wait, these units kind of like ruin the PvP. I still had fun with them, but they ruined the they ruined what PvP was. Now then, let's go ahead and hop into the first team. The Bond team is number 10. I have had fun with this team. I have. I, I, I'm gonna admit that I did. I like Ooga Booga big numbers. I've had a lot of fun with this team. Bon, Arthur, Eskinar, and Twig on the back which was just a lot of fun for me on release, right? I really liked Bond's kit and how he played. Like, Bond's one of those units where I extremely love his kit, but I hate and I hate how broken he is from the for PvP in the meta, right? Because Bond is one of those units where he should have released a couple years down the line to where his specific kit and everything, right? A couple years down the line to the point where he's at, right? For units to be able to actually be able to tank that a lot more than what they can now. Because right now, he just dominates PvP, right? Except for the new March uh, buff that, yeah. Marge is a whole different story, and she's not on global, so I'm not doing her. But yeah, number 10 is the Bond team. I've had a lot of fun with it. Uh, there's not much more to say. Even though I stated how much I hated it, I've still had a lot of fun with this team. Number 9 is the Goddess Liz, the one Eskinar team, right? I've had a lot of fun with this team, though it is most definitely... Not higher up, right? And this is like not optimal. This is the non-optimal Eskinar team. And like I don't even have Green Gother there. Um This is with Red Gother, and cause just because I like Red Gother. And this is the team I used, right? With Lost in the back, obviously, if you know Eskinar died, which is what people went after, or Goddess Lilith died, you know, Lost Fame would come out. I could easily ult rush with Lost Fame and everything, right? And my Lost Fame's tanky enough where you can survive a couple of the one hits. But yeah, this team was a lot of fun, though the one Eskinar was a big menace to the entirety of PvP, just like Bond was. Not to the extent that Bond was, but it, it, was, it was really bad, right? And Goddess was obviously, and I've said this before, was when the PvP on that PvP roller coaster started to just start tumbling down the roller coaster, right? And I have say that even though she's on on my one of the most fun teams. That's just because I'm a very toxic person. If you're a person that plays Unite with me, you know for a fact that I'm a very toxic person. I I get very toxic when I play my Bobas. Not to the point where, like some people did, but like I'll, I'll like, hey, like, I'll yell at my skin like, bro, why did you do this? Or why did you like, I, and then, yeah. <laughs> let's, let's move on to the next one. Moving on to the next team past, you know, this specific team. Obviously, is the Lost Fane team. I had a lot of fun with Lost Fane. Even though he was like the start of festivals and the festivals was, I would say, the downhill of PvP. Lost Fane wasn't that bad for PvP, right? And he was in that method where you could easily counteract him, right? He came out, he was actually very, very good if he had high, higher amounts of ult levels. But at the same time, you could also easily take him out because he could be crit easily. Um, Mono Red could take him down. Still Pierce could take him down. You know, Grinesco and could still take him down and everything, right? It was still pretty easy to take this Lost Vein down. 
His loss swing, of course, has zero crit resistance. He doesn't have the goddess Liz to help back him up. Yeah, there's just more, much more to say about that. It was just a pretty f overall balanced and fun uh, festival theme. Balanced is a uh, word I use very lightly. Because uh, when it comes to festivals, balance is not usually in, in the picture. But uh, let's go on to the next one. The Lolly Merlin Unknown Team. The Lolly Merlin Unknown Team I found actually pretty fun, right? I love ReZero. ReZero is in my, one of my favorite animes of all time, right? And I loved Lolly Merlin's kit. I loved how she had the ability to make sure she didn't actually die in one or two hits from the one Escanor. She was the first one new unit to come out that could compete in the meta. Um, the ReZero collab was just fun and amazing. I love the ReZero units. Ram was given for free and everything. And then I'm, I'm sorry. I say they're my favorite, but I keep getting the two mixed up. Uh, yeah, okay, it is Ram. I, was, I thought I was correct. Ram was given for free and everything, and of course, Amelia was in the banner of Summon 4. Obviously, she's better if you have more ult levels. I think I have her like 2 out of 6 or 3 out of 6. And then Red Gother was just Red Gother. Coin shop unit that was pretty easy to get and everything, right? It was just a fun, freeze, high damaging control team, right? And it was, I thought it was pretty fun for what it was. The next team is another version of that unknown team with one of my favorite units in the game, Rim. Um, I love Amplify. Amplify is in Grand Cross is probably my favorite effect in the entirety of the game. Amplify is just so much fun. That probably will give you clues to what the few next five will be after this will be. But uh, I love Amplify. Amplify is my favorite effect. Amplify teams are some of my favorite teams in the game. I, with the Rim being my waifu from ReZero, that was just more incentive for me to pull. She also had the Amplify effect, had a way to give herself buffs. She was just a very fun unit to me. Even though she wasn't meta, she was just a very fun unit to uh, have in the mess with in PvP and everything, right? Honestly, I can't wait for the rerun of the ReZero collab so I can pull more Rims. Uh, at least a tip my best too because I love Rim. But yeah, let's move on to the next team, which I have to set up real fast in these five right here. For number five, right? Number five, we have the Assault Meliodas Amplified Demon Team. I love I love Asmeli, and especially this variation because when Blue Dairy came out, I was Dairy is my waifu from Seven Deadly Sins, right? I mean, obviously. I put the most work into the Dare units. My wallpaper on uh, here, how'd you let me just. My wallpaper on my computer is Dare right? I have a full and Dare wallpaper. My wallpaper on my phone's Dare I absolutely love Dare Dare is one of my favorite characters in some nice sense, even though just a lot of people argue. And I mean, a lot of people have had these argument, arguments in the past argue that Darieri has no character. I love Darieri. She's my waifu. She's my favorite character slash girl from Seven Deadly Sins. And I love this team. I love, of course, Amplify. I love what Blue Dro does. Uh, he's just a big old control unit. I love Blue Darieri, who also has one of the best taunts in the game. Second best only to uh, Green Deanne, right? And of course you have Red Zeldas in the back to help boost your stats up. I just, there's not much more to say. This team was just really fun to me. Number four was another Blue Derriere team. Was Blue Derriere, Sariel, Green Gother, and the one Esker in the back just in case they killed my Sariel, right? I absolutely love this team. When Blue Derriere came out, this was one of the first teams I tried because previously... You would either have Blue Droll or you would have um, Green Taunt Deanne on this team. And I traded it out for Blue uh, Derriere and everything and I just fell in love. I played so many matches with this team. I tried to convince BS uh, BS Gaming when it, she first came out to try this team. He told me she wasn't worth the investment. I remember, I remember this. Two weeks later, he DM'd me saying, Hey, what was your Blue Derriere team you were trying to tell me to try? And then he went and leveled her up, used her team, and then fell in love with her. 
because her team was extremely fun. And then obviously he used her on the Asmoli team, which is one of his favorite teams as well, right? I remember the specific and no, 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 I uh, hate anything towards it. It's just it was just extremely funny to me, right? That that happened. I love this team. Blue Darius, they're just a taunt and tank. Sario's there just to dominate and be Sario because he's just a big DPS unit. Gothers, they're just to boost the stats. The one Eskinor is just there just in case they actually get I don't have any taunts and they get through my Sario. So he still comes out. Gothers passive is still active. And he just comes out and just starts dominating people, right? And just starts hitting left and right and just finishing off the match to make sure I actually, you know, win. I love this team. It was really, really fun. But it's time to move on to number three. The Demon Brother team. I love this team. I used it on JP for such a long time, bro. It, it was I used it for like a month and a half. I I absolutely love this team. It was just the green S, the green Esterosa taunt, the red Zelda's control, the lost faint damage, and in just a case I needed it, I had the green Escanor in the back. You know, Escanor was just there, just like the one Escanor was for me, just in case I needed that extra DPS to come out and help the field. This team to me was just extremely fun. I had a lot of fun with it. I wouldn't mind trying to recreate the scene in PvP today, but I, I very much doubt it's going to get any form of a. Uh, push through right i very much doubt this team's gonna work but you know i might try it again honestly i quite love this team at the number two spot the mono red amplify team i had a lot of fun with this team i obviously used the variation with hauser in the back instead of something like twiggo or um who's the red unit that boosts attack related stats hold on wait a minute who is the red unit that does that i don't i don't remember um who was it i i honestly can't remember oh it's jericho or jericho in the back right and like i so i used the house team because hauser boost uh humans basic stats by eight percent which just helped overall it just helped with escrow survivability especially with escrow's passive being active those first few turns you're able to get the level three or two buff off and you just start hitting people like it's nothing and just dominated in the field that back then this was an extremely fun team. I do have a few bad memories of trying to get this team because when Red Escalator and Global officially came out, I was like, I think I went 900 gems deep without a single copy and I just gave up. I was like, I'm not getting this unit until it comes in the coin shop like three weeks later. I just, I just completely gave up. But uh, I waited till he came to the coin shop. I got him, built this team and had a whole ton of fun with him, right? But yeah, now we're going to move on to my favorite team in the game don't mind the level 60 this was at a time where i could use level 60 and still be fine in high tiers of pvp ungeared um i extremely love this team and i've been told a thousand times this team does not work but this team actually works if you're able to balance how you use a specific unit with another unit right let's move on to number one my favorite team in the game also my favorite unit in the game blue gallant um, Blue Galland, Red Gother, Green Nunchoku Ban, and Green Merlin, right? I absolutely love this team. I found this team extremely fun. I loved how Green Nunchuck Ban played. I liked how, you know, just Amplify was my favorite. At the time, Galland was one of my favorite characters in the entire series, still is. Um, I, and that's like the, this is like the combo I was talking about, right? Like the Gother and Galland combo, because Galland's commandment, if you rank up, you get frozen. The thing is, is like I what I did was like I I ult rush Gallon right, and I used ult food for this ult rush Gallon, and then obviously I'd use Red Gothas rank up to get his amplified cards ranked up. Um, I would use his secondary card, not his amplified card, the other one. Get his ultimate, use his ult, then I start amplifying everyone right. I had extremely fun time with this team. I was really really happy when I pulled my blue Gallon, and I was also really happy when I finally pulled my Red Gother off that banner right. Obviously, I pulled Green Nunchuku Ban and like 300 gems off his initial banner. This this was just an extremely fun team to me. It's not gonna work today. You're the, you're not gonna get this team with the work today. Um, you you're just not. Green Nunchuku Ban's gonna get like one shot by Fez Ban. Uh, <laughs> Gother can get like one shot by Marga Laduciel. Also, probably more than likely get one shot by Bond as well. 
Blue Galland will probably get dominated by Bond as well. It's just like, it's, this team will not work today, bro. You're not making this team work today very well. But yeah, that would be my top 10 most fun slash favorite teams in all of Grand Cross. Uh, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.